Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Warlock 2 The Exiled or in this case let's fight Baraz Peasants of Doom because that's more or less what I'm doing. Apparently they have an ability that brings them back at full health after you kill them. So now I have to deal with this again. And my unrest is through the roof because well I'm fighting close to the city and that's also causing unrest. If I go into this city and check my unrest in here Plus 4 because the city was plundered, that's because the peasants took over. And plus 2.1 from city population, I guess that's normal. But yeah, I'm getting unrest because my cities are under attack. And that was also partially because of the Shadow of Vendral that I had to deal with in the previous part. Okay, let's grab Blade Wall. Can I still cast a Shadow Bolt on this turn? Yes, I think I can. No, I can't. Alright, that will have to wait for the next one. Another promotion. Oh yeah, this is my hero, which means I want some damage. No, I don't want this. Actually, this is interesting, but not right now. This is not a melee unit. Yeah, this is nice. Plus 50% death magic. So how's his attack now? 24. Okay, not bad. That's pretty good. Can I buff him up? Well, not on this turn. Alright, let's bring everything. I also need to fix my economy a little bit. But I would do that if I didn't have to deal with these stupid peasants. That would be quite doable. Let's just surround them. I will probably lose the skeleton warrior on the right side. Which is okay. It's a weak unit. It's more or less cannon fodder. So is he not attacking me? Apparently not. Okay. That's good for me. But my unrest is definitely going to hit 100 at this rate, as you can see. I'm a little bit worried about that. Let's heal this guy. Maybe he won't die just yet. Or I can heal the veterans. Yeah, they are much more valuable. I don't really mind losing the skeleton warrior. As I said, he's more or less cannon fodder anyway. Let's move to the other side. Or I can kill the stupid scrums. Nah, my city can handle that. Yeah, the city can handle that. So, let's do as much damage as possible. I could buff some of my units, or I could keep spamming Shadow Bolt. Can I use Fireball? Do they have Elemental Resist? No, they don't have Elemental Resist. Okay, let's just use proper Fireball then. Is it more mana effective? I don't think it is. Yeah, the lesser Shadow Bolt is actually more mana efficient. This is 20 damage for 55 mana. I'll just keep using Lesser Shadow Bolt. I only have 81 mana left, which is why I can't afford spamming 55 mana nuke every turn. Okay, let's just attack with everything I got. I need to kill these dudes before I hit 100 unrest. And I kind of want to keep exploring. Maybe start more cities or something. Or develop my existing ones. Not just fight one unit for two parts. Or 20 turns. I don't even know how long I'm fighting these guys. Must have been 20 turns at least, I think. I don't know. But my unrest is way too high right now. And I can't really do anything about that at the moment. Yeah, I'll probably lose the Goblin Spearman. That's okay. I just need to keep my heroes alive. And my veterans. I can use Gift of, Gift of Enlightenment. That's regeneration. Might be useful. And I should probably heal myself a bit. Let's use proper healing then. Okay, I hope I have enough units to deal with this. I might not. Yeah, this is going to be close. And my heroes can't take that much damage. I did buff my shaman with melee resist. So he has 50 melee resist, but he can't fight a unit with 35. Attack strength. Yes, I want to send them through the portal. Well, I have more units incoming. Hopefully this will be enough. They won't res again because they don't have that ability anymore. I must have missed it earlier. Because I did check it and I didn't see that ability from the ashes or something like that. As I said, it brings them back at full health when you kill them. Great, now I have to deal with Minotaurs. Now I'll have to back up. What? Come on. This is just getting better and better. 
I have to kill the Minotaurs first. Otherwise, I'm going to have a bad time. So let's hit them for 16. Yeah, see how you like this. And I have to heal my veterans again. So healing. Let's kill this. Can I kill them? Not on this turn. Okay, they are almost dead. Hmm, can I afford to attack these peasants with my sharpshooter? Yeah, I think so. 35 damage. Oh, that was a crit. Not bad. Let's just keep attacking them. They are down to below 50% health. 105. So they are at around 30%. Hopefully this won't take much longer. I'm fine losing other units, but I need to keep my heroes alive. They are kind of important. What again? What? Really? More units spawning? What's this? Vampires. Well, that's just fantastic. 16. They are immune to death magic. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. But they are vulnerable to life magic. But yeah, I'll deal with that later. I have to kill these stupid peasants. Yeah, my unrest is really through the roof. Plus four from this city. That's bad. That's because it was plundered. But if the mad peasants take over my city again, I will get even more unrest. So that's not good. Yes, yeah, proing. Okay, let's try to kill them before they take the city. That would be nice. Come on. Are they dead yet? 51 hit points. Okay. Let's kill the prospectors a bit, at least. Maybe they won't die on this turn yet. What's this? Skeletons. I can deal with that. Did I not leave any units on this side? No, I did not, apparently. Okay. I should probably hire something then. What can I get? Oh yeah, I can get the Coatl Warlocks or Hunters. These are both ranged units. What's the maintenance like? Minus 5 mana, minus 2 gold. I think I'll grab the Warlocks. Seems more reasonable. I'm actually making 12 gold per turn, so that's not too bad. Plus 35 Missile Resist. Or Elemental and Death Magic Resist. Let's grab Missile Resist. I'm not sure if this dude will survive. Nice crit there. I think I will get some gold for killing these peasants. Was that the quest? Will I get anything from this? Yes, 180 gold. 77 turns remaining. I have plenty of time to actually finish this, but yeah. And then I'll take care of the vampires. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, I might want to protect my cities. I'll have to wait for the warlocks. Or I could send the Prospector through the portal. Yeah, I think I'll do that. It's not like the Prospector can do a whole lot in here. I can't let these things take my cities because that means more unrest. You get unrest every turn for X turns after the city was plundered. Or captured by you or someone else. Don't remember exactly how many turns. I think it's five, but I might be wrong. Anyway, what do I need here? This was supposed to be my food city, I guess. I have a granary here. I have some food production bonuses. I don't have any special improvements. I need to get that pumpkin farm. So I'm actually kind of tempted to get a fort or a magic tower. They take a slot because it's a building, but I would get some extra defenses around here, which is never a bad thing. And I don't want to keep too many units protecting my capital. Yeah, I'll just grab a magic tower right here, for example. It has free tile range, I believe. Veterans. So, promotion, city fighter, force march. These are not great. These are veterans. I'll grab plus one movement. This is one of my stronger units. So, where did the mad peasants go? No, I don't want to go through the portal. Did they go through the portal or what? I think so. Let's wait on this side for a turn then. Or I can attack the vampires. Yeah, this should be a lot of damage because they are vulnerable to life. And I can loot the creep. Nice. What's that? Oh, I got a unit. Or is that a spell? What was that? Was that a perk? I'm not sure what that was actually. I'm... Don't know what that was. Interesting. Hmm. 
I guess I should have looked closer. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Oh, was that an item? I don't think so. Nope, I still got this Warhammer and I can't use it. Which kind of sucks. I can disenchant it, but I might get a melee hero later. That's why I'm keeping it. But I'm not sure what I actually looted from that crypt. I guess I'll check it on the video. <laughs> Let's go through. A new spell has been researched and prevent this. What's this? Wind elemental. Okay. I might actually need some help here then. I need that magic tower to finish faster. That will definitely help. Is there a crypt over here or something like that? Village cemetery. Yeah, okay. I have to load that then. Research is completed. I need something that will reduce my unrest. So, question is... Where's that? There was some research that reduces unrest. Not this one. This converts gold into mana or other way around. No, this increases experience points gained by units. I was thinking about something else. Public relations, yes. Minus one unrest per turn. I can definitely use that. So, build something. What was I going to build here? This was supposed to be a mana city, but my borders need to expand before I can get the magic fields. Let's see, I could get the Rune Witches Guild. Or I could just get more money, more food. Craftsman District is not a terrible idea. Yeah, this is just going to be a generic city, but more focused on mana. What's this? Carabs again. Is there some kind of lair somewhere around here? Great, more Minotaurs. That's a bit annoying. I still have... To oh yeah, these are the Mad Peasants down here? Yes. I almost missed them. They are almost dead. In fact, they should be dead very soon. Another promotion on my hero. Plus 25 melee resist. Yeah, I'll grab that. Melee resist is very important. He has 75 melee resist now. Yeah, that's pretty good. He could probably tank the Mad Peasants. For a turn or two. Yeah, they are coming. That's the wind elemental. Yeah, my city is taking quite a bit of damage here. I need to get rid of this cramp. Before I lose my city to scarabs. That would be embarrassing. Yeah, see how you like this. Oh, nice. Promotion. Let's back up a bit. I don't want to take too much damage from these Minotaurs. Where are the mad peasants? Okay, this is getting annoying. I think they went for the portal. I guess I'll wait on this side one more turn. I would like to explore <laughs> a little bit more instead of fighting mad peasants constantly. Okay, my warlock is done. This will be a defensive unit in my capital, probably. I'll get crabs spawning around my capital constantly, it seems. Or maybe not constantly, but regularly. What's this? Plus 15 melee... And missile resist. Yes, that's good. That was that was my hero. Okay, let's wait then. One turn. The mad peasants should come on this turn. No? Do I have to go for the portal? Let's go for the portal, I guess. Oh, there they are. Are they healing up? Seriously? Okay, not if I have something to say about that. What kind of world is this then? Interesting. Let's have a look at the big map. Green Isles, continents type map, tiny world size, and there's a quest object here. Okay, oh no, that's that are these are the mad peasants. I thought that was something else. Foundry, already have one. What can I get? Another foundry? Oh yeah, there's iron to the east. I don't think I need that right now. Hmm, I could get pumpkin farm right now, which is kind of useful. In fact, I should probably get that. Yeah, let's grab that pumpkin farm. I'm actually losing food right now. What about this city? I will convert this into a free city at some point, but I'm not over my city limit yet, so I don't have to. Hmm. Let's have a look at building tree. That's going to be more useful. But what do I have in here? Not a whole lot. Yeah, I could get... A craftsman district, I guess. Not much point getting prospectors guild. I already have that elsewhere. I don't need another magic tower. I could get a shrine. 
And that might not be a terrible idea, but I need to decide which god I want to get favor with. I'm not quite sure about that. Hmm. Fervos. Let's have a look at the spells real quick. This was Fervos, I believe. Shield of Chaos. Greatly increases target's resistance to all types of magic damage. Yeah, that's not too bad. This was Chrome. Summons a free hex. Summons to a free hex a rune which increases the resistance to melee and range damage of all friendly units in his vicinity. That's not too bad. That's actually kind of nice. I like that. And the third one was what? Doros. What was that then? This was... This is Doros. Increases inflicts life magic damage on one undead unit. That's not so great. I might go for Kralm. So I could convert this into a temple to Kralm. Perhaps. I could also build a shrine of Kralm. Hmm. Which is not a bad idea either. Yeah, let's grab that. Right here. I got another hero. Oh, this is a melee hero, I believe. Yep, 15 melee attack. 45 hit points. But 10 food. I think I'll pass for now. I might grab him later. If I get more food, maybe I should cancel this temple then. Oh yeah, I will lose relations now. And I will get unrest. Because even though it's not completed yet, it's already under construction. So I can't change my mind without extra unrest. And my unrest is getting really bad right now. At least I'm not gaining unrest anymore. And I should start losing it once I finish my research. So that's nice. Let's kill this. I need to load that Minotaur Lair or whatever it is. And I still have to get rid of these mad peasants. So let's send some help. Oh great, I can't actually attack them like this. I have to swap places. Which I can't do on this turn. Alright then. But maybe I can finally kill them. There's some other crap on this world apparently. Yeah, the Minotaurs are attacking me. What's going on? Oh great. More crap to deal with. Okay. He will cast some spells and he will be here until I show you that I surpass him in magic skill. Yeah, great. He won't take my word for it, apparently. Send my best scouts to find the answer or spend 50 mana. I will find the spell myself. I don't really want to lose mana and I'm not quite sure what the exact difference between these two options is. Send my best scouts. Yeah, he converted some of my terrain. Minus 20% for production. Oh well, whatever. Let's kill this already. Like so. And kill this door. And I still need to get rid of the mad peasants. Can swap places or can I? Apparently not. I can move here and then attack them. No, I don't want to go through the portal. Are they going to die yet or what? 17 damage. Can I cast some nuke? Let's use Lesser Shadow Bolt on top of this. I think they are dead. Finally. Yeah, the description is apparently temporary. <laughs> What's this? 17 attack. 80 hit points. I don't need to deal with that. I should send a settler through here, probably. Seems like a good idea. Okay, let's load that. There's more crap over here. These are vampires. Okay. My warlock can deal with that. But he's probably using death magic. No, elemental magic. And they have 100 elemental magic resist. So this is not the best you need to handle that. But at least he can handle it at all. Hopefully. So anything else going on? Promotion. Some non-elemental damage would be nice. Yeah, plus 20% elemental magic damage. I think I'll still grab that because that's useful. That's more damage. Yeah, the vampires will be healing apparently. Which means I need some other unit to deal with that. Order of stubborn knights. Okay, these are donkeys. Or trading post. So I have a choice between stubborn knights 
See, I can't check the stats on that unit. I can't right click on this, which kind of sucks. Or I can get plus 10 gold. I think I prefer plus 10 gold. Gold is kind of important because I can get all these perks from the foundry, for example, but I have to pay for it. 50 gold a pop. I think I'll grab that on my veterans. Yeah, I should have done that earlier, in fact. I do have a limited amount. And it costs money, so I don't want to spam it on every single unit. So, maybe I can explore now, finally. Oh yeah, I need to get rid of that Minotaur Pyramid. But at least the mad peasants are dead. That was annoying to deal with. Let's explore this world a bit with one of my units. I can send the Quavel Spirits to explore. Is there anything interesting on this side? Not a whole lot. I don't see any special resources. I could raise land over here, but not much point doing that right now. So, Skeleton Settlers. I don't think I need those. I think I prefer to get my own Settler. Okay, yeah, well, let's grab one Settler in my capital city. Or in this city, that works too. Just to send him to the third world and settle somewhere around here. There are no resources around here, but I still want to settle that anyway. And I should clear this second world. What's this? Innovations. Okay. I can lose 50 gold. I can lose 100 gold. Or it is a bad time for pointless research. Well, I like research. Let's spend 100 gold. Innovations are necessary for my domain. Sure they are. I hope we'll get something useful from that. And not just waste 100 gold. What's this? Again, flying scarabs, really? And I can't attack that now. Well, just with my hero. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, not enough movement points. Oh, I can't move with this guy at all anymore, right. Let's keep moving. Maybe I'll find something useful in here. Another portal. Mad mages again. Really? Give them a bag of gold. 70% chance. Give, uh, spend 50 mana. I think I'll spend 50 mana. That's 30% chance that they will attack me. The Mad Mages attack. That's a bit annoying. Oh well, at least the portal is open now. They are not that strong compared to the Mad Peasants. I'd rather deal with Mad Mages than with Mad Peasants. There's the shrine. Yeah, I need a different unit here. Really, I'm just wasting my time but at by attacking the vampires with the warlocks. And I might actually lose the warlocks if I stay there. Okay, let's get out of there then. What now? Food crisis, really? What's this? Plus 500 per turn? Or I can spend 50 mana? Okay, let's spend 50 mana then. I don't want extra unrest. I'm losing 1 unrest per 10. That will take a while before I get rid of that. So let's take care of this problem here. But I'll back up for a moment. New construction. I have plenty of food. I could actually hire that hero right now. If I want to. Do I want to? Yeah, let's grab him. I have a weapon for him. Actually, no. He can only use armor, right? I should just disenchant this. Yeah, let's just disenchant that. Because it's not very useful. So I need food now. Let's grab something that will give me food. Like this. Yep. But that hero only costs food and nothing else. So that's not too bad. What does he have? Ogre armor. Highlander. Models when attacking targets on hills. And some resists. Yeah, he's not too bad. He needs some experience, so he can take care of the vampires right away. That should be much better. Zero melee resist. That will be much better. So. Get rid of this. And I need to start expanding a little bit more and exploring a little bit more. I need to stop getting negative events constantly. Or well, I don't mind negative events, but the mad peasants were a little bit annoying to deal with, let's just say. Wow, these mad mages actually do quite a bit of damage. I might need some healing here. Oh great, I can't cast it on this turn. 
That works. Okay, let's attack them then. I will kill myself a bit. I think Toyonis can deal with these bad mages. Probably. I need to load that Minotaur Pyramid, otherwise it will keep spawning units constantly. Yeah, my Ogre can deal with this easily. So what's this? That's a spell. Thunderstorm! Yeah, that's quite nice. But 160 mana, really? That's a bit expensive. Well, hey, I don't mind getting spells for free. Can't complain about that. And that's actually a pretty expensive one. Yes, I want to send units through the portal. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I need to back up before I lose my hero. That would be bad. I don't mind losing Quartal Spears. They are not that important. Can I finish them off? Are they resistant to death? No, they are not. Oh, I can't cast this on this turn. Oh well. I might lose my Quartal Spears. Oh, finally! I got the magic fields. So I can get... what can I get? Plus 5 food, plus 5 mana at the cost of 2 gold. Or plus 5 mana, plus 5 research. Yeah, I'll grab plus 5 food, plus 5 mana. That's definitely a better choice there. And my first promotion on the Ogre. Plus 30 melee resist or plus 20% damage. Let's grab damage. So things are actually quite exciting. So what's this? Oh yeah, Wind Elements Nest, I need to load that. More pyramids up here. Minotaur Caves, this is a resource. Right. And I had Minotaur Caves somewhere around here to the east. Yeah, right here. So I should probably start a city next to one of those. Let's send that settler to my third ward. That's the plan. I could send him east, I suppose, but I want to settle that ward. And make a road from one portal to another. Kill these dudes already. So actually, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.